Hi everybody, welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We are continuing in our series of award-winning movie recipes. This is, this recipe is Spanakopita. Can we guess the movie? No idea. No idea. If you can guess, put it underneath. Zorba the Greek. <laughs> no. Well, that's a good guess, actually. Uh, no, and I'll tell you first that it was, it's a 2002 romantic comedy uh, directed by Joel Zwick and written by Nia Vardolis, produced in part by Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, uh, starring Nina Vardalis, Vardalis, John Corbett, Lainey Kazan, Michael Co Constantine, uh, Andrea Martin, Joey Fatone, and a whole bunch of other people. It is called My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Uh, of course. And there's a scene underneath uh, where um, John Corbett, that uh, would be Tula, Tula's fiance, uh, he comes to the family. He comes to visit with his um, parents, and they are wasps. They are don't know anything about um, the, the Greek, the Greek uh, culture or anything, and they are exposed to it. And there's a lot going on, and it's really funny. And they are offered Spanakopita test. So that's what we're going to make today. So we have here. Revealing this is phyllo dough, phyllo pastry. Now, you can buy this frozen or you can buy it fresh as well. Um, I've never made it, and nor will I ever try to make it. It's very convenient that it comes frozen and you just let it defrost in the fridge. And very, very, I put it between two clean dishcloths that are damp because it dries out very quickly. But we're going to do the filling first. So, uh, this is a vegetarian dish. Um, it's very delicious and it's very, very Greek. All right, so let me tell you what goes in here. We have, in here we have, uh, let me, um, dill weed, two teaspoons of dill weed, the dried dill weed. We have uh, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. To that, I'm going to add um, spinach. This is frozen spinach which I defrosted and then I squeezed it like anything to get all the excess water out. And in and by the way all of the metric um, measurements are in the description box before below. This is frozen spinach 454 grams or 16 ounces of that. That goes in there. That's been well um, drained. Okay to that we've got four eggs I love Greek food, hey Dan? We get it often. Um, I make it sometimes. <laughs> this is a specialty. It's lovely, really good. All right, there are the eggs, four eggs. We have, uh, let's do the spit. This is uh, two bunches of fresh uh, flat leaf parsley, which I took off all these stems, or I took off most of the stems, and I crushed it up really, really fine. That goes in there. All right, to that we have one large yellow onion, which is chopped finely as well. That goes in there. And to that, feta cheese. So this is, I'll tell you how much feta cheese this is. Uh, feta, feta, feta. Sorry, it's here somewhere. Feta cheese, here we go. 10.5 ounces or 300 grams of feta cheese that I am going to use my hands, which are clean. My favorite cheese. It world. is, it uh. is. It is for sure. I buy and I buy it in bulk because we put it in our salads. I cook with it often. Sometimes, whoops. Sometimes I just have it. We have it as a snack. It's really good. You put olive oil on it. It's a bit, little bit of dill. Really nice. Okay. I probably should have done this beforehand, but anyway, it's it's coming along. That's a lot of feta cheese. All right, there we have it. Let me wipe my hands and get started on the. Um, it's been a cook down. Let me just mix this up really well. Should have had a bigger bowl maybe, but anyway, here we go. So this is, uh, they call it spinach pie, uh, but it's spanakopita. Uh, you don't put salt. You don't need to put, oh God, Casey. <laughs> Poor, Casey gets all the bits off the floor. And believe me, because I'm the messy cook, he gets a lot of bits off the floor. All right. Looking good. Good mix. Make sure the eggs are well incorporated and the spinach is well incorporated. So delicious. And tonight we're going to have this with some tzatziki and some garlic bread 
and maybe a Greek salad. Hey, Dan, sounds good. Oh, maybe or two, of course. Absolutely. Okay, this looks good. Yeah. Okay. Now comes this part. So you want to take an eight by thirteen um, casserole dish. What a mess. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, so there we have it. 9 by 13. I said 8 by 13, 9 by 13. Uh, extra virgin olive oil. You want to do the bottom of this well. So there's no fear of the spanakopita not coming out. So just a quick... Do the sides too? Or? Oh yeah, I would do the sides. Absolutely. And there we have it. Now... Let me get rid of this, because this comes, this is the, oh, I forgot the garlic. Oh, yo, 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 two cloves of garlic. Oh, could you imagine? There we go. I'm glad I saw that. Okay, let me just mix that in. Two cloves of garlic. Ah, oh, it smells delicious. Looks good, too. Okay, that should do it. Just to make sure the garlic's in there. Okay, so we're going to take two sheets of the phyllo dough. They're very, very delicate. There's one, two, there's two. And that we are going to put at the bottom of the casserole dish. Can you see this okay, Dan? No problem, eh? Yeah, come okay, put this here. And we are going to now put oil on this part as well. All over. This just will make it nice and crispy and tasty. It's a bit of um, a process, but you know, anything that's yummy is a process. Okay, <laughs> put another two sheets on top of that. If I can find two sheets here. There we go. Two sheets on top of that. Bring the sides up and over, and again, we're going to uh, put some olive oil on that, all over. Whoops. It's a great movie, and it, 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 there was a sequel to it, and uh, there was actually a um, a uh, sitcom as well, which a lot of people don't know, which was not successful at all. Uh, apparently, it was cancelled like after the first episode or second episode or whatever. But the movie was fantastic. Okay. Was that filmed here? It was filmed in Toronto, I believe. Yes. Okay, another two sheets. There we go. And how much have we got left? Yeah, enough for the top. Perfect. All right. So, you know, you just take your time. It's it's a bit of a, like I said, a process, but you know, whatever. It's nice. It's good. Yummy. Okay. Now, we fill. You take everything that's in here. Let me push this over so I get a good mix here. So we've got all of our ingredients in here. Give it another little mix. Make sure everything is incorporated. And time to dump. It all goes in. Look at this, Dan. Oh. Mamma mia. I have a lot of Greek friends, by the way, who uh, over the years have taught me some uh, Greek. Um, all swear words, of course, you know. So I can swear really well in Greek. Okay, so we tap that down and begin the process again with the top layer. Two sheets. This is probably three, I think. No, oh, two. Okay, three sh two sheets on top to cover. 
the oil. This is a really important step. The oil is really important uh, because it keeps it hydrated and it also crisps it up really nicely. There we go. And another two sheets. <laughs> I think this is more than two. Just let me check this. No, it's two. All right, another two sheets. Goes on top. It's well worth it, people, honestly. And if you have your own recipe for Spanakopita, please put it underneath. I'd really be interested to see how different or how similar it is. And there we have that. And our last one. Same thing, but at this point, we're going to tuck these in like this. Tuck all the ends in. It doesn't have to look pretty. People were asking me why I cook with my rings on. I don't. This is a tattoo. <laughs> it's not a ring. Okay, so there we have it. And we top it off with uh, some more olive oil. Now what I I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't have a knife with me, and Dan, do you think you can get me a knife, please? Which one? Uh, the skinny one, please. This one? Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score the top of this because it'll be easier to cut later. I'm not going to cut all the way down. Just score it like this. Into bite-sized pieces. Like this. And then this is going to go into the oven. Score it. There we go. All right, let me check the times for you. All right. This is going into the oven. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is, Celsius. I'll put it in the below anyway. Um, and it's going to be going in there for... 325 for one hour. One hour. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this in the oven, put it in for an hour, and we will come back and we will have a reveal. All right, so I'll see you soon. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Here we are with Spanakopita. It cooked beautifully. Can you come in here, Dan, and take a look at how beautiful it's crispy? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I have to tell you what I did do was that before I put it in the oven, I realized that the edges were really too thick. So I trimmed them down with my tr trusty uh, kitchen shears, got rid of a lot of it, and uh, this is how it is too. You can also put pepper in the filling, which I forgot to do, uh, but it's always nice to do, but a few, you know, uh, grinds of good pepper. You do it after. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, before I do this, I have to tell you, because this is a Greek dish, we're going to do oompa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I do the cleanup here. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll keep that part out. All right. So let's take a little bit. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's crispy. Hot. Mmm. So good. Take a look. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so I hope you tried this dish. Uh, Spanakopita. It's a little labor intensive, but what the heck. You know, everything that tastes good is. Um, so thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you for all your support. Please like and subscribe. Many of you who are watching, I really appreciate, but you're not subscribed and it really helps to build our channel. So please do that. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. 
uh, what else? Do, oh yes, my my beautiful little grandson watches. He's two years old and he watches Gammy cook because he lives in another city. We don't, don't get to see him all that often. So I wanted to dedicate all of my recipes to Benjamin. This is for you, Ben. Love you. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. And remember to forget the mess.